Oil and gas, also known as hydrocarbons, provide much of the energy needed to power homes, cities and industries around the world. Offshore wells are drilled by companies to discover oil and gas, or to develop and produce already discovered reservoirs to process into usable energy. Woodside is Australia's largest independent oil and gas company, known for our world-class capabilities as an explorer, producer and supplier of energy. Over our 60-year history, we have safely drilled over 600 wells in offshore environments, both in Australia and internationally. Before drilling, Woodside undertakes detailed well design and logistical planning, applying good industry practice to ensure our wells are drilled safely and potential impacts to the environment and other marine activities are minimised. We consult with stakeholders, including local communities and fishers, to explain our planned activities and understand how potential impacts can be avoided or minimised. These potential impacts and other possible hazards associated with the drilling activity are monitored and managed throughout drilling operations. Woodside also prepares environment plans that detail how drilling will be undertaken and obtain approval from relevant regulatory authorities before drilling commences. Wells can be drilled by either a drill ship or a drill rig, known as mobile offshore drilling units or modules, depending on water depths and other factors. To ensure the safety of other marine users, vessels not involved in drilling should stay at least 500 metres away from the drilling location while in operation. This is called a safety exclusion zone. Once the well is complete and drilling infrastructure is removed, marine users are generally free to resume normal activities. While technical differences exist, the process for drilling all offshore wells is similar and take place in several stages. Before any drilling, a remote operated vehicle or ROV is sent to assess the condition of the seabed. A hole is then drilled into the ocean floor using a large diameter drill bit and steel pipe called a conductor is installed, providing the well's initial structural support. A smaller drill bit is then lowered through the conductor to drill the next section, which is called the top hole. Once it reaches a predetermined depth, more steel pipe called casing is installed, supporting the newly drilled hole. Cement is pumped through the casing, moving between the casing and the drilled hole, securing it in the ground. The cement is allowed to set before drilling continues. Before drilling deeper, a blowout preventer, or BOP, is installed on top of the well. The BOP is a large specialised safety device used to seal, control and monitor wells to prevent uncontrolled release of fluids. After the BOP is secure, a smaller drill bit is lowered into the hole to drill further and more casing is cemented into the ground. This step is repeated until the well reaches a specific depth where the targeted reservoir is predicted or known to sit. This is called total depth and can be several thousand metres below the seabed. Drilling fluid, sometimes called mud, is continuously pumped into the hole while drilling. This helps keep the drill bit lubricated and cool to prevent overheating, prevents the uncontrolled flow of wellbore fluids and transports drilled rock cuttings back on board. Rock cuttings are then separated from fluids using shakers. Fluid is returned to tanks on board the rig. Where required, cuttings undergo additional processing before being carefully discharged below sea level. The volume and properties of drilling fluid are continually monitored to ensure the well is drilled safely. Once total depth is reached, tests are run to understand the geological properties of the intersected rocks. Information on any hydrocarbons found is collected through rock and fluid sampling. The information gathered can be used in a variety of ways, such as informing future exploration activities, development planning or optimising production. Once wells reach the end of their life, they are made safe by sealing them with cement. This is called well abandonment. Before leaving the location, an ROV surveys the seabed again to assess and record the condition of the area. 
Woodside takes pride in the health, safety and environmental performance of our drilling activities. We are committed to world-class environmental management in our exploration activities and in the design, construction and operation of our facilities to help provide for the world's future energy needs.